Let's make a section from the plane drawings. I start by renaming the layers. Right click the layer and select Rename from the pop up menu. Make a new layer and name it Section Guides. Select the color for the layer and double click the layer to make it the current layer. Now we'll decide the position of the section cut. I'll choose a section that shows the staircase. Copy the cut line to the upper floor and use the object snapping to make sure the line is positioned correctly. Now copy the cut line once more and position it above the plan drawings. This line will act as the ground level. Check the floor heights of the section. The second floor starts at 2550 mm. The roof starts 2435 mm above the second floor. The top of the parapet is 515 mm above the roof. With the horizontal guides in place, it is time to create some vertical guides. Draw vertical lines from the cut line to the horizontal guides. First I create boundary lines, then wall thickness and interior walls. Switch to the walls layer and draw the walls in the section based on the section guides. When you've used the guide, delete it to clean up your viewport. Establish the floor and the concrete slab for the upper floors. Draw two vertical lines to help trim the lines in the courtyard. When the lines are trimmed, delete the vertical lines and close the ends. Draw vertical lines to help position the windows. Copy the lines to all windows. Draw the window using the rectangle tool. Holding the shift key will make a square instead of a rectangle. Use object snapping to snap to the guidelines. If you prefer, you can just make a rectangle 330 by 330 mm. Offset the square inwards by 30 mm to get the window frame. Select both squares and cover them to the remaining window positions on both the lower and the upper floor. You don't need the guidelines anymore, so they can be deleted. Make a few guidelines for the roof thickness and the parapet. Then draw the roof.
delete the guides. Trim the walls, the floors and the roof so they form a continuous shape. Use a trim command more than once if necessary. Select the curves and join them into polycurves. Now for the stairs. Draw vertical guides for the beginning and the end of the staircase as well as a horizontal guide for the second floor. The stairs end slightly below the second floor, so move the guide down 95 mm. Basically, the stairs run through this diagonal. From the plan drawing, draw one step, then copy it several times until the guide to the left is reached. and then make one more step. The extra step is made because the last step is actually the plateau to the left. Select the steps and join them into a pulley curve. Change the object to the walls layer and move the steps to the ground level of the section drawing. Now use the Scale 1D tool to stress the height of the stairs to match the upper guide. The origin point is on the ground floor. The first reference point is the top of the last step. And the second reference point is a horizontal guide. Delete the guides and extend the last step to the second floor to the left. Launch the extend command. Then select the extend boundary. Press enter. And finally click the end of the last step and the curve is extended. Draw vertical guides for the windows to the yard and draw the windows in the detail layer. Select the window and group it. Then copy it to the opposite side of the courtyard. Continue adding details to the section until you end up with something like this.